Hi, welcome back. Previously, we unboxed the Wheel Tracker L1 e ink version. Yeah, it's got that e ink screen here. I think that's 2.13 inches. And they have this case reference from Seed Studio. Unfortunately, it is just a reference. It has all of the openings in the correct places, etc. But when I look at these standoffs, I'm wondering how much room for a battery am I going to have? And then we look at the board itself, and you can see these chips stick out pretty far from that side of the board. And if we assemble this and take a closer look, we're seeing, yeah, there's not much room for a battery underneath that board. And I don't know where else I'd put a battery in this case the way it is. Yeah, those standoffs just aren't tall enough. I checked out some of the remixes, and this here, Seed Wheel Tracker for 3000 mAh Maker Hawk battery is the one I wound up with. Yeah, let's see, here's the Maker Hawk 3000 mAh battery. Yeah, let's get that one out of the bag. I also got this M2 screw kit because the person that came up with this case called out for M2 screws of varying lengths. And there's also ridges here that actually hold the e-ink panel in the face of the case. That wasn't present in the original one. And look at the height of these standoffs. It's a lot taller. Yeah, the case is a lot thicker. But with a 3000 mAh battery, this thing's going to run for, uh, for days with an e-ink display. Yeah, let's go ahead and assemble that. And you can see, even with it assembled, there, I felt the battery rattle within the case itself, so there's still plenty of room. And that'll just pop right on there. All right, that, that's looking pretty good. So look for the links down below to this upgraded case. And, of course, the link below to the Wio Tracker L1 Pro E ink version. There it ships from California and there's still some in stock. This is that Maker Hawk battery. Look for the link down below. And this is the M2 screw kit that I got. Also linked down below. All right, thank you very much.